how is the landscape changed in football coaching from the time you were in high school to now a guy like you didn't exist when you were in high school or did they uh to a very small degree i think i think uh it's a huge testament to to the state uh and to the people of of, of north carolina that you know, football has become really important in this state. It's very evident. Uh, when you look around, there's a lot of trainers, a lot of guys doing uh, position-specific training. There's there's seven-on-seven seven teams. Uh, so it's been great. It's been great for me. Um, you know, obviously, a football. You know, I love football. I love it. You know, I grew up around it. I played football uh, for for quite a while. So, um, like you said, it, it's been it's been it was hard growing up because you know I come home for Christmas break and there would be nobody out on the field. Right, it'd be me running by myself. And now it's like it's it's hard to find space to do any football stuff because everybody's out the field working on the craft and and everybody's trying to find space to get better. So um, I, th I think you know we're we're a little bit behind some of your major states when it comes to football and, and the development of it, but. But we're definitely headed in the right direction, and I think it's, it's been a very positive uh, thing for me, guys in my profession who do specific training year-round to just quarterbacks when there's only one season for football, and that's the fall. So uh, it's been great. It's been great. It's been, it's been great, you know, kind of uh, collabing with other guys and kind of just, you know, football has become kind of a year-round commodity and importance to a lot of high school coaches uh, in North Carolina and a lot of trainers like myself. So you've You've been at this for how many years now? Uh, this is year uh, six for me. Okay, and you obviously you've, you're coaching Daniel Jones, Sam Howell, Carson Black, some of these local guys, and, and other great quarterbacks. Uh, you're, you are pretty much the gold standard of quarterback coaching in the area. What's the common thread that you see that maybe you had that you see in these guys that make them so successful at their position and what you see even for younger kids? I, th I think, uh, and I, I kind of harped on it a lot with these guys out here today was, you know, a lot of those guys that were really successful is just they never got to the point where they felt like they didn't want to be coached. Um, you know, guys like Daniel Jones, P.J. Walker, they come to me because they still want to be coached. Uh, whether you know my information is viable or not, they still want something. They want to hear something. They want somebody else to put eyes on them and tell them what they see, right? So I think I think for me personally, I was kind of the same way. I wanted to be coached. I wanted to be better. I wanted to, I wanted guys to give me hard critiquing, right? I wanted guys to to give me a lot of constructive criticism. And I think you know a list of those guys you named, you know the Sam Howes that I work with, the Garrett, the Garrett Straders, uh, and even some of the smaller local guys from Union County, Carson Blacks. Like those guys are constantly wanting to be coached, right? And I'm not just saying specifically if it has to be me, but they just have to, they have this urgency of always wanting to learn and, and do football. You know, I'm on social media and those guys will send me videos of, of other quarterback trainers they may see. And they ask questions like, hey, what are you guys doing here? Or they might see, um, you know, videos of NFL guys and like, hey, coach, watch this throw. And we're just talking through mechanics and talking through small details. So I think what's, what, what's, the, what's the big thing that I see nowadays in kids is, is – um, a lot of them want to be coached, and I think that's what makes the best athlete. When you have a guy that has the talent, and have all of the all the tools and the measurables, and he still wants to be coached, and he's hungry to, for more information. That's the guys you see that's playing a long time, playing on Sundays, or playing on Saturdays, um, and that have the most success.